actually a few days ago, Rufus actually attacked Wolfgang uh, and did some damage to his ears. He had bloody ears. And, uh, he did? Some, yeah, it was pretty bad. Good. So it's escalating. Yeah. Rufus has attacked Wolfgang. And I want to get to that relationship before it goes the same route as Jojo and Rufus. I think that Rufus is very intimidated by Jojo, and now he's being intimidated by Wolfgang. Don't. Wolfgang's getting older. Wolfgang is gonna reach his sexual maturity at six months old. That's not gonna be pretty unless you get hold of the situation. Here we start with Rufus. Now, we know that he doesn't have a lot of self-control. Oh, 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 I want to teach him a little bit of impulse control. You see? Instead of dashing towards things, if Jenny and James ask him to turn away from something, he'll do so. I want to teach him that the only way he's going to get this food out of my hand is to turn his head away. This is teaching him now to control his impulses. Victoria wants to catch the behavior. Good. Before offering the reward. Rufus showed me how smart he was because almost immediately, good. He was turning his head away. He had made the connection. I turn my head away, I get the piece of food. Now Victoria adds a command to the action. I have to get it as he's in the act of doing it. Turn away. Good. He turned away and he looked at me. That's what I want. Rufus is doing so well, Victoria wants to take it a step further. I want him to either take a step back or go to the side. So this is even gonna be harder for him now. I was wondering, how in the world is this dog gonna know what to do? She's not telling her what to do. Turn away. Good boy. When I saw him back up, I said, that's it. It's easy going from here. Now, Victoria has James take over. Turn away. And surprisingly, Rufus responds to him immediately. That was a huge ego boost to me. I felt about, you know, 10 feet tall right then. For somebody who really didn't have much interest in the dogs, he now understands how to communicate with the dogs. And I think that's a massive breakthrough for him. Next up is Jenny. Away. Could you say turn away? Yes. Let's keep, let's keep let's it. Let's keep it consistent. Rufus, turn away. Good. That's awesome. Beautiful. One more time. It's really important that Jenny and James stick to the turn away so that that will connect to an action and hopefully negate any kind of emotional irritation the dogs would have with each other. <laughs> now she wants to get Wolfgang on the same page. Wolfgang and Rufus have fought in the past, and I don't want it to happen again, because Wolfgang is soon going to grow into a very big dog, and that could be extremely dangerous for Rufus. When the dogs are in a situation where there could be a little, little bit of tension, all you need to do is to say, turn away, and both dogs will turn away from each other. I'm going to do the same process as I did with Rufus. He's going to have to see. How am I going to get this out of this girl's hand? <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wolfgang is a puppy, so I thought it was going to be a big challenge for Victoria. He's impulsive. He doesn't really uh, know what he's doing. Turn away. Good boy. I can't believe it. Turn away. Good boy. Yeah. I'm going to make it a bit harder for him. I'm going to show him the treat. So we up the ante. Turn away. Good. Now that Wolfgang is getting the hang of it, Victoria has Wait. Jenny try. Good. Turn away. Good job. That's you my boy. Are very, very good. It takes so much willpower for a puppy to leave a piece of food. Wow, you really did it. And you're a puppy. I'm proud of you. I'm going to show you how to take care of Wolfgang, OK? James isn't the only one helping Jenny out with training. Jenny has decided to get her housekeeper involved. But at the same time, she changes the rules. So we won't say turn away anymore. And then you, you know, make sure, atención, mm -hmm. get his attention with no, no, OK? What are you doing? No, no. Good. That's good. like a turn away. Good boy. 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 Good
Jenny, I can't believe you're doing this. I taught the turn away command for a reason. Changing the word to no is just going to confuse things. We can all do the same thing, la misma cosa. Mm -hmm. So we all on the same page. I don't want to start confusing him with different commands, all right? Mm -hmm. This is a mess. And things only get worse when Jenny tries to sell James on her new technique. I had a situation where I was trying to train Lupe to teach uh, Gang to turn away. So at this point, we're just going to say, you know, no, no, until she gets, you know, what she's looking for. And he's been understanding that. When it comes to the training, I kind of was the one that changed the rules a little bit to suit my needs. And, you know, James followed. No. You know, you have to continue. Good boy. Continue? What do you yeah, mean continue? Like, Say no over and over again? Yeah, I thought yeah, that was yes, what I was not no, supposed to do. No, that's what you're, with, with the word no and trying to get his attention, that's what you are supposed to do. Jenny, what are you thinking? You should never repeat the command over and over again like that. You're just teaching the dog not to respond the first time. Say no. Jenny insists no. James try it her way, but it's clear no. the dogs are confused. No. No. James is frustrated. No. Here, come here. No, I'll do it. And progress has ground to a halt. Come here, Rufus. I like doing it without him now. How do you expect the dogs to learn if you can't even agree on a technique? It's madness. Sit. No. No. I feel like it might have been a mistake to do that. It might be kind of confusing to use no. I wish we had been able to stick with the original turn away command. When we tell him no, he knows that what he's doing right now is not what we're looking for. It's not working. Come on. OK. Come on. This is ridiculous. You are well on your way to being back to where you first started. I need to get back before it's too late. Victoria is returning to Jenny and James home to get them back on track with their training. Hello. Oh, thank Hi. God. Hello, guys. <laughs> Am I glad to see you. As soon as I got through the front door, Jenny said, thank goodness you're here, because she knew she'd made some mistakes. OK, so tell me about the situation with your housekeeper, Lupe. I went up to her and I tried to train her. Mm -hmm. And I saw she was comfortable with simple yes, no commands. But using the word no, no is used in so many other situations. It's going to be confusing. Does that mean I turn away? Uh, does it, what does no mean? using it too many times teaches the dogs not to respond the very first time you say it and can set the training back. What we're going to do is we're going to refine some techniques today. There's still stuff to do before I leave you. All right, so let's, let's get on that. Wonderful, okay. great. All right. Victoria's first task is to find out how much damage has been done by right. abandoning the turn away command. So, I now want to refine what we've been doing. We're not going to use the no anymore. And to keep everybody happy, instead of using the words turn away, we'll do turn. Now, I don't know whether any of the training, if he's going to pick it up again, or whether using the no has uh, caused him to regress a little bit. We'll see. Turn. Mm -mm. <laughs> Rufus kept on laying down when I asked him to turn because he didn't really know what the word meant. He hadn't heard turn away for a long time. So he was just completely confused. Turn. Mm-mm. Turn. Good. I like that turn head away. Turn. Good. I like the... Turn. Good boy. We're back. We're back. Finally, Rufus did it. I felt like a million bucks. Now, Victoria wants to add Wolfgang to the mix to reinforce the positive experiences Wolfgang and Rufus have together. Turn. No. Turn. Turn. Good. Turn. Good. Turn. Good. When another dog sees another dog getting the reward, they work harder. In situations like this, where I've got high value food and they're both maintaining a lot of impulse control in the presence of another, is amazing. Because it means, I don't care whatever situation you're in, you, you maintain impulse control with each other. So I'm going to leave you now. When I first came here, I came into a house that was full of stress, dogs fighting, 
owner's out of control. You've gone from having a confrontational relationship to having a relationship based on cooperation. And that's what it's all about. Turn. There's nothing like learning how to deal with your dogs. I recommend that everybody, please, before you get a dog, learn first. Learn from my mistakes. Jenny and James had come to the brink of what could have been a disastrous situation. Thankfully, after some difficult decisions, they've seen the light. And now they're setting their dogs and their family up for success. <laughs>